Air transportation has evolved in just over 100 years, from flying a few feet to flying around the world. It relies on a system of people and vehicles. Pilots take the plane from point A to point B, but they're not the only ones responsible for the aircraft. The rest of the crew takes care of the passengers on the plane. Baggage handlers do exactly what their name is. They handle baggage. Don't forget all about those ground vehicles. Very important. Helicopters play a very important role in transporting people safely. This HH-53 helicopter is designed to move a lot of troops. How many of you have seen Transformers? This is the same helicopter from the movie. The Chinook seen here is moving a large weapon. The Chinook design uses two helicopter blades. Fixed wing aircraft come in many different shapes and sizes. This plane is called the Cree Cree. It is the smallest single person plane in the world. It has two small engines located on the front of the aircraft and has a very goofy shape to it. Here you see the Air Force's C-17 Globemaster III in formation. A rare shot seen here, the stealth bomber is refueling. The V-22 Osprey can take off vertically but fly forward fast like an airplane. A J-3 Cub here is seen with floats on it so it can take off water. On Earth, the space shuttle is transported via aircraft because of its extremely large size. This plane is performing weather experiments as you can see on the right wing. What most people don't realize is that air transportation is only a few hundred years old. It wasn't until 1783 when the Montgolfier brothers designed and built the first passenger hot air balloon. Who doesn't love chemistry? Here's the symbol for propane. It's the power source for modern day balloons. Here's a standard propane tank. You would use something like this for your grill. Propane gets cold when it expands. We use the same size canister for our hot air balloon launcher. Modern day balloons work just like the ones we built in class. Hot air makes things rise. Buoyancy. Otto Lilienthal experimented with gliders. Otto Lilienthal designed a series of single and double wing gliders. He was known to throw himself from buildings and fly for far distances. This would be the end of him, unfortunately. Modern day gliders use composite materials but still fly on the same principles. Gliders are affected by three forces of flight lift, drag, and weight. Charles Lindbergh flew this Ryan monoplane, the Spirit of St. Louis, from the United States to France in 1927. It was the first solo, single-engine flight across the Atlantic Ocean. It lasted over 33 hours. No longer are we bound to this Earth. We can fly wherever we want, whenever we want, for very low costs. Humans traverse the earth much easier now than they did 100 years ago. We now have aircraft that people use for recreation, such as gliders, hang gliders, and paragliders. 
a new generation of rockets will take us higher, faster, and beyond the reaches of space.